Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Let's Play with 401 Games. Today we're going to be featuring Junk Art, which was a Gen Con release, mm -hmm. and it's got all these cool pieces. Yes. It's a dexterity game. Mm -hmm balance things on top yes. of each other. This is not going to go well. But anyways, to stack things with me, I'm joined by my friend Chris. Hey, how's it going? Uh, Chris, I'm a local designer in Toronto. I design lanterns for the Harvest Festival. And shout outs to my friends Jay Cormier and Sen Fu Lim as they're the designers of Junk Art. Ooh, yay! Yay for friends! Mm -hmm. Okay, so Junk Art uh, has several modules. Um, I think about 15? Yeah. I believe 15 total. Um, some of them are playable solo and some of them you need a bit more than two players, but most of them can be played with two players, and yeah. it is quite fun because the uh, wind conditions change and the mechanics change a bit depending on which one you pick. Mm -hmm. But we're going to show you guys three different modules. We're going to be playing through Paris, Philadelphia, and Indianapolis. The home of Gen Con. Yep. So we're playing the Paris module of um, Junk Art, and in this game, you'll have three. As you see here, cards in the hand, detailing the shapes that you need to play. And on turn, you're going to simply play one face up to your opponent. Your opponent now has to find that piece specifically yep. and place it to the base. It's this one. Yep, there you so, go. So, bam! So right there's a couple there. rules. Yep. You can play, um, you must have the, ba um, the base must hold the piece as well as it cannot overhang so you fall. But what you can do is you can move other pieces with other pieces, not touching the one that you just placed. And you can also hold on to the base so that it makes it easier for you to stack pieces. Like such. <laughs> not that it work, but yes, you get the gist of it. All right. Okay, cool. So shall we start? Yes, uh, who goes first typically? I'll go start. Oh, I'll sure. Start. Why not? And I'll give you a simple piece to start off because I'm really nice. So you'll have to find that piece. Oh. <laughs> it's somewhere. Are you nice? There Is you it, go. Yeah. That hey. doesn't look... Okay, I'll use my imagination. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Close enough. It's I close enough. put that there. Yes, and it's a really easy piece. So do we that. lose together because we're sharing a base? No. So the first person to lose three pieces or more off the base actually is eliminated. So no. it's a, yeah. It's a, okay. Well, <laughs> let's let's do it. Okay. okay so I'm gonna give you. Yes. Which one are you gonna give me? Uh, Don't give me a hard one, please. <laughs> I'm gonna give you this one. Okay, so now I need to find the gray flower pot. So I don't think that fits in the hole, so I'm going to stack it like this to make it ultra challenging for the both of us. That's great. <laughs> I like a challenge. There you go. Oh, we, we draw again at the end so, of the yep, right? So yeah, right. each round, each draw. Oh, oh, oh. So I'm going to get you to stack this orange cylinder. The orange cylinder. Yes. That's, I'm assuming this one, that not with the hole one. in it. Correct. Okay. So I'm gonna I'm gonna nudge this over here. Careful. Do that. There you go. That's legal. Hey. All right. So you're gonna get me to What play. does the cactus do, Chris? Oh, oh so the cactus, cactus does. What it does is that's actually a card that we're not supposed to play with. But because Flick 'em Up was actually done by Pressel Games, you can use the Flick 'em Up pieces, such as the cactus, oh, to okay. um, uh, add in junk art. Well, we'll just discard that. Nope, that didn't happen. I'll draw <laughs> that another didn't one. Happen. There you <laughs> go. <laughs> Oh, yeah, let's play the white ball. And that's worth 15 points if you can pull that one off. If we're playing that version. But I am going to stack it like this, just so it's safe. I made things harder for myself. Uh, yeah, you did. I, I thought it was a round, round ball. I didn't realize it was a flat bottom. Yeah, no. I should have. <laughs> All right. There you go. Keep going. Uh, let's do this because you were mean to me do the same. Oh yeah. So the blue slate that has a hole in it is stackable. No, it's not that hard. <laughs> not that hard, as you say. Not that hard. Sure. See, I used the hole exactly. to account for the sphere. Oh, you got it. <laughs> there you go. Okay. Um, I only have crappy cards. I'm sorry. <laughs> let's do this. Oh no. The pole. Oh boy, this is gonna be a the tough, pole. tough placement right here. Um, I am going to, I might drop this. I might drop this. Or, you know what, I'm gonna place it horizontally. Oh, that's, that's an easy way to do it. It is. Yeah. There you go. So we draw two more. Here's you. 
Ah, uh, yeah, you are totally getting this piece. I don't like this one, that's a <laughs> slanted one. Yes, it kind of reminds me of a skateboard park uh, pavement. Damn. Okay, I mean, I can place it. You could. It just makes things more difficult for you later on. Exactly. Okay. Oh, no. And I think she's just gonna get that on. Balancing skills. Exactly. There you go. Um, I'm gonna give you this piece here. That looks like a boat, so I'm gonna take that. Uh, that's not good. So, there's no rules to not move your chair. It doesn't have the coconut rule. So I'm gonna do, no I'm not. <laughs> Are gonna you gonna do, do it on the corner? <laughs> I am not gonna do that on the corner. Uh, I am going to do this. Okay, that was easy enough, but uh, we'll stay, I'm not sure. All right, each two, there you go. Now I like this module play because we're, we're only concentrating on one um, uh, junk art structure, but there's multiple modules where you're handling your own structure, so it, it gets harder with uh, with plays. Okay. All right. So uh, I'm going to give you the tube. The tube. The, the tube. donut. The donut. Yes. I want to. I want to do this and hang it off. Well, you can. But are you gonna knock off that cylinder? Is the uh, only the question. Gosh, gosh, <laughs> yeah. guys. Does she have the skills to do so? Skills. I don't know. Oh, it's too heavy. It it's too heavy. heavy. Okay, chest rules though. I didn't let go of the piece. Correct. So I can put it anywhere else. Yep. I will put that. <laughs> oh, there. nice. There you go. I, I cheaped out. It's a work of art. I know, it's a work of art. We can like sell this to a museum now. Of course. <laughs> yeah. Oh, jeez. All right. And you are going to get this piece. Yeah, it's, I think it's over. I think it's over. Is it over? Yeah, there's no way. Oh, 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 it's ah, three pieces. Yeah. That's three pieces. I'm so sorry. Ah. There you go. <laughs> Well, that was the end of the Paris module. Right. Yes, we lost. So, how do we do? We do we keep our scores for now? Sure. Do we end, so, tally up at the end of the three modules, or what you do is uh, Victoria gets a amount of fans for that. She gets three fans, and the ones and fives, black for the fives, one for the uh, the whites. You just basically tally up the points after. Okay. All right, so now we're going to try the Indianapolis module. Now we each get our own bases. Correct. So we each have to finish our own structure, but this is a real-time competition because on the count of three, we draw the very top card on our draw deck, and we must place the piece corresponding to that card onto our base. The first person to say done gets their piece on that base. The other player cannot place their piece whatsoever. So it's a balancing act of going really fast, but trying to get your piece right on the base. All right. Whenever you're ready. Okay, so okay. we'll be like, ready, set, set go. go. Oh no, I started off with a bad piece, done. Oh. Okay. Okay. Ready? So, yep. So, so now you can't place that piece right. on. Three. Oh, I can't? Nope. Oh, okay. There we go. Three, Three two, two, one, one. go. Go. Oh no, for the pot. Where is it? <laughs> done. Okay, we tied on that. Okay. All right. Three, two, two one, go. Go. Oh, That's not a good piece. Boat. Where is it? Done. Oh no, I can't <laughs> place my boat. All right. <laughs> the boat. This is not good. Three, two, one, go. Uh, done. done. Oh man. <laughs> oh, she's fast at this. All right. I, I've stuck with so many bad pieces. You, yours looks like a lamp in a pot. <laughs> it's very decorative that way. Okay. Three, Three, two, two one. one, go. Paul, where are you, Paul? Oh, I don't like. Done. So now you can replace this one, but this one I can't replace. Okay. Okay, three, two, one, go. Oh no, not again. Jeebus. Done. Oh. Oh, yes. Do I lose this? So now you can uh, place oh, those pieces. Oh, I just pieces, put those back. Yeah, you cannot okay. place that piece. 
cuts. I don't want that piece anyway. Yeah, exactly, right? Sometimes you want to set yeah. piece. Yeah, okay. okay. Good. All right, three, two, one, go. Why is it giving me those pieces? Done. Oh, no. Okay, that one you called before, right, dude? Okay, three, two, one, go. Oh. No, no, where's that piece? Done. Oh. I did it for oh, you. Was, yeah, okay. All right, three, two, two one, go. go. Oh, no. Where is it? Oh no. Done. Oh, that was never fitting there. <laughs> All right, and last one. Go. Oh, oh. Yeah, where's that green cylinder? Oh, there it is right in front of me. Ah. There you go. And Victoria would gain another amount of fans that as well. Was vans? So many. Exactly. So you get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You would actually get two fans for that. And two that's two. Ones. Yep, that's yeah. two more to me. So uh, that's not Ooh, good. Okay. I need to catch up. So that's a lot of variabilities. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Exactly. And for players who really love speed, this is a really great module for them. Yeah, I don't know if I like speed. <laughs> All right. I think you just end up getting hard pieces at the beginning. You do. Yeah. I was stuck with these two pieces. Yeah. As well. Awesome. Okay. Okay. So now we're gonna reset for another module. Yep. Now let's give Philadelphia module a shot. Oh, um, so right. it's drafting, right? Yes, this yeah. is a drafting variant where you are giving one piece to yourself, probably the best piece of which you can give yourself. So I've given myself this one to start off and I give the other two to my opponents. So she'll have placed those two pieces and she'll do the same for me. So the player who has two or more fallen pieces loses. All right, well, let's get to it then. Okay, so I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna give three myself these, and you're gonna give me the all. Oh, thank you. So I have to play these. You ones? have to play. Some okay, ones. well. You're gonna. Okay, so I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna do a little cop. And there's no time limit, right? There's no time limit. All right, so I've got nice. these three, and oh, there it is. This guy. Wow. Okay. And I'm gonna do. Uh, let's do this. Okay. Oh no. You dropped one. Oh, I was hoping that cylinder would to fall. Okay. Well, I mean, I might drop one too. You might. Oh, oh, no, I got it. Okay, got you. All right, so discard those and then two, two, three, three, do the same. Yeah, you're totally getting that piece. Am I? Yeah. Uh, the other is not really too worried about I think. Uh, I'm gonna do, I'll give this to you as well. Take this piece for myself. Oh, you give me the white. Thank you. Yep. <laughs> okay. I get the white dumbbell and I have this piece here and the white. Okay. This bar. I've okay. got this. I can do this. Can you do can this. do this. I, I believe this. in you. I, I want to win. And oh no, it fell ah. off! How dare you roll! <laughs> Alright, well, I lost that one. Yeah. Oh gosh, <laughs> this is getting precarious. I did it. All right. I did it. <laughs> <laughs> and we do the same as well. So one, two, one, two, one, two. Okay. Uh, you are totally getting this. And we're we getting this. I want this. I can have these ones. I'm going to take these. Okay. This. Give me the cylinder. Thank you. I, you like round things, right? No. <laughs> Not in this game. I've got these three I need to place. Okay. Uh, I am totally gonna be stuck, I think. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> oh ah! no! Yes, I finally won a module! <laughs> There you go. Oh, and so I'd score, I'd score a number of fans, but I think Victoria would win based on the number of fans that I would get for this. How many fans do you get for that? I think I would get one, two, three, I'd let's say two, I think. It's number of uh, pieces minus whatever you drop. Let's say two. Okay. My whole thing dropped. Yeah, your whole thing dropped. This is <laughs> you know, fortunate for me. There we go. There you go. And that, that is jump fast. cards. I mean, it could go on forever if you're really good at balancing. If you want to, yeah. Yeah, I, I really like that. It was easy to grasp, um, and there are other modules that we didn't even go into, so there's a lot of diversity in terms of the gameplay, and you, and you can play this with kids too. Oh yeah, this is a very uh, kid-friendly game. Uh, I know that Jay and Sen have worked on this for a very long time, getting the pieces right and getting the cards right in order to, uh, to get this game going, and uh, congrats to Pretzel Games for having a big hit on their hands.
Yay, awesome. Well, if you are interested in trying junk art for yourself, uh, it is available here at the 41 Games Play Library, or we do sell it here in store at 518 Young Street, or you can get it online at 41games.ca. Thanks, Chris, for, for joining me again for an episode. Um, yeah, that was Let's Play with 41 Games. Mm -hmm. Bye, guys. Take care.